Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh, I'm so happy to be back. I haven't uh, done a YouTube video in ages, but today we're alongside Layton. Layton, say hi. Hi. <laughs> You're not very enthusiastic or anything like that, are you, mate? But today we're going to be predicting the game week three Premier League predictions. Right now we start off with Manchester City versus Arsenal. Now that's the first one this week. And it's going to be a cracker for Man City, I do believe, because Arsenal, where are they gone? 19th in the Premier League. I know it's only three or four games in, maybe two. I think it's two in the Premier League. What on earth are they doing? Yeah, they smashed West Bromwich Albion 6 0, but I really don't think they're going to get the points in this one. I'm going to go 2 0 to Manchester City. Layton, what's your prediction? Go 3 0 Man City. I think Arsenal, they haven't been on their form recently, have they? No. Don't you think? They've exactly. been playing terribly at the moment. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I reckon they'll stay in the lead. I reckon they get 11th, so I don't think there's going to be a bet, but good performance. So 3-0. 3-0, OK. Now we move on to Aston Villa versus Brentford. Now, if you look at Brentford, they've been absolutely stunning. Like, yeah. to be fair, on their opening, they beat Arsenal 2-0, and I still remember that. Uh, I'm not sure what their last uh, result was. I think, well, I'm not sure, but I do believe they are stronger than like, around Villa strength, not stronger, I was about to say stronger, I know. But I think um, Villa just have enough to um, put up a draw in this one. Because don't forget, Villa are a decent side too. I think it's going to be a 1-1 one -one draw. Very boring for me. Um, I must say, I think Villa will win this one. One one. Danny Spicy on his on his second day on Xavier. Yeah. That just really stunning. Right. Now everyone, my favourite of the week. It's another Brighton Hove Albion game. I'm going to this one as well. Going to the Amex for Brighton versus Everton. 3 pm kickoff. Come on, the boys. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to this match and because of how strong we've been recently, I'm gonna have to back Brighton for this one. Uh, one nil. Um, Leighton, what are you gonna go for? Um, who's one nil to. Score? By the way, one nil Brighton. One nil Brighton. I'm going one nil Brighton. Brighton are playing for Everton. Oh, uh, two one Brighton. Two one Brighton. So we both agree. Mm. The whole new Brighton. Exactly. Neil Melpe back into scoring, but he's out injured. Now, everyone, we move on to the next game, and it's Newcastle versus Southampton at 3 p.m. The same day as Brighton and Everton, the exact same time as Brighton and Everton. And I already know what I'm going for this one, just because Leicester, you know, lost 4 1. I, I don't think that's going to stop them. And I think they really are going to go for a result in this one. I'm going to go 2 1 to Leicester. I think they're going to play quite well. Leighton, what are you going to go for? 1-0 Leicester. 1-0 Leicester. 1-0 Leicester, OK. Now we move on to the one and only West Ham versus Crystal Palace. And the reason I say one and only West Ham is because the, the, the one and only West Ham are an absolutely stunning club. It's the truth. West Ham, I think, are a lovely club. And I think they're a very strong side. I think they're like not easily going to get this. I think they're going to fight for it wherever they can. I'm actually going to back West Ham for this one, though. And I'm going to go 3-1 uh, West Ham. Leighton, what are you going to go for, mate? Oh, OK. Um, you said 3-1. Right, yeah, I said 3-1. Yeah. I think Crystal Palace, they brought in their new manager. But he's, he's an experienced football player, but I don't think he's an experienced manager. 2-0 West Ham. 2-0 West Ham, OK. All right, then. Now we move on to Liverpool versus Chelsea. Now this is a 5.30 kickoff. Now I'm looking forward to this one because Liverpool, I'm um, back and forth. Guys, this Liverpool on the return, I'm guessing. Uh, Chelsea though, they're a cracking club as well. And I actually think even though Liverpool look um, like they've recovered, which they have done, you know, they've recovered, they're a, like they used to be sort of. Uh, beating Norwich, they're beating them sort of sides, which is smaller, but they wouldn't have beaten last season. I'm actually going to go, uh, even though they're back, you know, I'm just going to go for Chelsea 1-0. Layton, what are you going to go for, mate? I feel like um, Chelsea versus Liverpool. Chelsea versus Liverpool. Yeah, I'm going to go 
both been on brilliant form recently. Yeah. Liverpool won 3 0 against Norwich, and I forgot who Yeah, else don't forget, Mohamed Salah's stunning, isn't he? Chelsea won 2 0 against Arsenal last fixture. They did. I feel mm. like if they keep playing like that, they could get to the Champions League again. Oh, really? I feel that. I feel it's going to be a 2 all draw. A 2 all draw? A 2 all draw. Okay, not bad. Yes. It's going to be one point in this one. It's going to be a uh, ride, um, according to uh, Leighton. We'll see. Right, and now we move on to Sunday, the 29th of August. It's a separate date when the first games of this game week start. And it starts off on 29th, uh, Sunday, 29th of August, with Burnley versus Leeds. I don't think neither of these sides are on form. Are they? Right, no, Leighton. Wait, what was no. Burnley's last score? Let's hopefully cut this out. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 guys, I remember it's 2 0 to Liverpool. And uh, the fact is, mate, I just don't think Burnley have enough. And you know what? Leeds losing 5 1. I'm going to have to back neither of these sides. I'm going to go with a 0 0. Do you know what? It's a simple, boring game. What about you, Lates? I mean, none of them have been on four recently, have they, Charlie? <laughs> no, no, not at all. It's absolutely shocking. Yeah, but I do, form, yeah. I do feel like. What's it gonna be, mate? They're, they're both terrible. No, they're not it's terrible. It's just gonna be completely and utterly boring. <laughs> nil, yeah. nil. Terrible. Nil nil. Okay, you agree with me. Now we move on to Spurs versus Watford, and this is gonna be a tough game because even though Watford lost two 0 to my side, Brighton, they could always do something in this game. They, you know, Spurs. Well, well, there's always the chance in Spurs. For instance, one moment, I'm going to recall back to Brighton here. One minute Spurs have beat Brighton, next minute Brighton have beaten Spurs. By the way, a little thing, yeah, a little fact, yeah. Layson, over here, is an Arsenal supporter. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, 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 you're a, Li you're a Liverpool supporter. No. And he shocks at Liddles, by the way. I'm joking, he's a Spurs uh, so supporter. Alright, he's a Tottenham Hotspur supporter, so am I, and I'm going to go 3-1 to Spurs. What are you going to go for, Lakes? Um, Spurs v Watford, obviously, I'm a Spurs fan. I want to root for my team, don't you? If you're yeah. a Spurs fan, you want to root for your team. But, there is a but. Ooh, what's I that going to be, mate? I don't feel... I mean, Tottenham, at the moment, the by the time it is recording... We are, we're winning at the moment, yeah? And well, apparently, we're not playing our best. But if we play against Watford, we have clinical chances. Hummin Son and Harry Kane. They're going to get in there, aren't they, mate? If that Harry Kane st stays there, which he will, uh, if he's in the starting lineup, it will be 2-0. 2-0 Tottenham. 2-0 Tottenham. Right, now we move on to the final game week. And I do believe, and it's Wolves and Man United. Let's have a look. Yes, it is Manchester United and Wolverhampton Wanderers at Monaghan in the East Midlands. I believe it's the East. It's somewhere in the Midlands. Anyway, right. Wolverhampton Wanderers. What do we say about them? I have to say, I like Wolves. I, I really do, but there's not much I would expect from Wolves. But I really do want them to win it. Man United in the upper hand. Decent side. But... <laughs> you everyone's going to be confused when I say this because it's just going to sound stupid. But I'm going to go for quite a um, big one here and I'm going to go Wolves 2, Man United 1. Um, I don't know really, it just seems that I'm going to say 2-1 to Wolves because um, even though, you know, they may have not be up there this season at the moment. I'm not sure because I haven't looked at the table. I do believe they're going to hopefully get some results. And I'm thinking it's going to start off with a 2-1 against Man United. Layton, what do you say about this game? I mean, Wolves last game against Tottenham. They lost 1-0 to a Deli Alley penalty. But United also drew to Southampton 1-1. It's going to be a tough decision. Yes. But I reckon it's going to be a goal fest for Man U. 3-0, Jaden Sancho hat-trick. Nah, well, we'll see about that. You know, and um, anyway, we come to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys next time. Later, what's the like target for today, by the way? Um, 15 likes. 
15 likes. Okay, <laughs> smash that like button. 15 likes, actually. No, offer it, yeah, up to uh, 20 likes, yeah. And um, 35 likes. 35, okay, we're going to go for 35, even though we don't even get half that amount of views. Hope we do this time, though. Right, thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye, peace.